for me when I walk in here, I am just astounded at the look of the lab. The technology is is beyond, I think, what we what we've been able to imagine. I think it'll definitely be exciting. We're going to be the first laboratory in North America that's going to have this type of setup. Better service, I get faster turnaround time for the results, and it would be more accurate results. This concept started about 15 years ago, and through the support of Department of Health and Wellness and the QE2 Foundation, we were finally able to bring our vision forward. The beginning part won't change, so the samples will be delivered to our first floor and they will be entered into our laboratory information system. With the core lab, the tube is introduced to the track. The track takes it to the first instrument. It does some testing, comes off that. The track will take it on to the next instrument or a third instrument or a fourth instrument. When the processing is complete, the track takes the tube into the storage system. You can actually program the track to go back and retrieve the sample and bring it back to you. The number one benefit, of course, is to patient care. Providing that faster turnaround time, more predictable results back to the physician. 80% of a physician's diagnosis in patients is based on laboratory blood work. Our best case scenario now to be able to provide the testing is 30 minutes. Uh, with the core lab, we'll be able to provide it in seven minutes. Having it all automated and standardized is going to help a lot with our turnaround times and help with you know standardizing what we're doing to help reduce error. So I think that's very important to, to patient health care. Robots don't tend to get interrupted to go answer the phone, that kind of thing. They don't get pulled away. It's going to consistently move along through the system like it needs to. You can actually sit and focus on patient results, which is what we were trained to do. Also, we're going to be able to deal with that impending workforce shortage. But with the number of lab techs that are set to retire in the next five or so years, we're actually going to be worried about a shortage as opposed to job losses. The third key benefit is the benefit to our staff and it creates a safer work environment as far as minimizing the exposure to bloodborne pathogens. The fact that there is no human intervention with the specimen, you don't have to hold the specimen, you don't have to open the specimen, will, will increase the safety for the technologist. The upfront capital cost was about $4.4 million, and that includes renovations. We'll break even in four or five years, or in four or five years we'll, be, we'll break even and then we'll be savings then. It is going to save money overall, and that means that we can put healthcare dollars towards other things that are needed in the system. We do about 9 million tests a year at Capital Health in this laboratory, and I would guess on average is about 20,000 tests a day that will be done in this core lab. We have certain turnaround times that we need to meet, so if you have a lot of specimens coming in and out, you're not spending a lot of time on your actual analytical work. By eliminating so many of those manual steps, we do expect to see a reduction in the number of errors that uh, can occur at those steps. Increase our efficiency, and increase our quality of our service. It's so sophisticated, and our ability to track samples and the efficiencies that are gonna be created are just, to me, one of the most amazing things about the project. Thanks to the QE2 Foundation and their generous donors who contributed $1.1 million towards this project, we were able to make it a reality.